Um, Jen, whenever you're ready, good to go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just uh, thank you, everybody. Um, really, really appreciate um, those of you who are able to join us today. Um, you know, I think that it's it's always nice to see representation of the WNBA at all times, but especially in the off season. Um, so just want to give those of you who joined us a special shout out for your commitment to, you know, covering the Connecticut Sun, covering the WNBA and continuing to help us push our agenda forward and help us stay relevant, you know, in the months where we don't always have our players around to help us do that. So certainly want to thank you all for joining us today and for joining us last week when we were able to introduce um, our new head coach as well. Um, so, you know, normally November is a slow month in the WNBA world. Um, not so much for me this year. Um, and it was, you know, as much as it might've been a little stressful to have to go through the hiring process a couple times, um, it was also really exciting for me um, to think about the, the future of our franchise and think about who I um, wanted to have join us um, in, in the journey uh, as we move forward. Um, obviously we've set uh, quite a, a good precedent. I've, I've been looking at the stats that the WNBA has been putting out um, on social the last couple of days. And you look at our five-year overall record um, being tied for the best and our home record being the best um, in the season over the last five years. Um, certainly there's been a level of sustained success that we have come to expect here in Connecticut. Um, so I couldn't be more excited and thrilled to just be able to introduce today um, you, to, you all to Darius Taylor um, as our new uh, general manager of the Connecticut Sun. Uh, when I was calling around trying to get some background info on Darius, there was a lot of words that came up that were pretty consistent, um, smart, calm, thoughtful, um, and relationship driven. And so I know a couple of you were at Stephanie's press conference and I got grilled a little bit on the qualities that I was looking for um, in a general manager, somebody that um, would be able to help uh, set a vision for us both short term and long term somebody who cared about our players off the floor as much as on the floor and their li lives after their basketball careers. Um, and Darius was just a really, really easy choice. Um, you know, obviously Morgan's been with us for uh, over a year and a half now. Um, when I think about Morgan, I also, the word smart also comes to mind immediately. She's also driven, she's inquisitive, um, and she wants to make a difference. Um, so I, I literally have been able to, to have two people hired into the basketball side um, of our organization that I think are going to make a tremendous difference for us in terms of player relationships, uh, in terms of setting a, a real, an even higher standard of success and what that looks like um, and, and understands what it takes to be successful in this league. Darius is somebody who's served on many different roles um, in the WNBA and Morgan, who has served as both a player and now in the front office. So without any further ado, I just want to um, have uh, introduce you to Darius and have him say a few words. Thank you, Jan. Um, first of all, I, I mean, I, I want to thank um, just the Atlanta Dream Organization for, you know, five years of memory, um, the staff there, the players, obviously uh, the ownership group. Um, and I also, you know, want to thank uh, the Mohegan uh, Tribal Council, Jen, Kevin Lowry, and the, the uh, Council of Elders all for giving me this great opportunity and trusting me to help lead this organization uh, to the next step. So I'm really excited about the opportunity and the challenge. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful for this opportunity and I'm looking forward to hit the ground, ground running to get to work. Um, you know, as, as Jen mentioned before, I am big on relationships. I am big on, uh, you know, having a player first organization and providing opportunities, not only for our players on the court to be successful, but off the court and, and life after basketball. And so I think when you take a holistic approach like that, um, you know, only you can only have success. And so that's what we look forward to doing and building a team that can have sustained success, not just for now, but for the future as well. And I'm also really excited uh, to have the opportunity to work with with the Connecticut Sun staff, especially with with Morgan and with Peter and some of the other basketball operations staff, Coach Stephanie White, 
Um, and so we're really looking forward to uh, putting together a team that that we can be proud of on the court and that's going to compete for cha championships. Hi, everyone. I'll turn it over. Um, yep, perfect. Um, hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here. Thank you, Jen and Darius, for kind of kicking it off. Um, obviously, this is an exciting moment. Um, being able to get on the basketball side is something that I've kind of always been interested in on the front office side. Um, so I'll still be in the community. I'm sure people will still see me out and about, but I'm really excited to be able to learn from Darius and his experience um, and how to hopefully one day be a GM, but really enjoying this moment and just excited to be able to work with the team um, and kind of bring that play relationship side since I play with a lot of the team and obviously not too far removed from my playing day. So again, just really excited and just happy for the opportunity. Thank you all. We're gonna open up the floor for questions. Um, so please raise your hands. <laughs> Jackie, go ahead. Hi all, uh, congratulations to, to everyone. Um, I've got a couple or for, for Darius and, and for Morgan. Um, I'll, I'll start with Darius. Um, so during a, a WNBA season, or well, first of all, Darius, congratulations. Um, but during a Thank WNBA you. season, of course, uh, there are injuries and unexpected quick decisions that you have to make. Um, what is your approach in those situations? And how do you make sure that the sun uphold their ability to, to pivot and, and adjust as, as they've done, um, but now in this new era? Uh, great question. I think first of all is you know putting together a roster that that has versatility that can you can kind of pre-disasterize and plan for things like that. Obviously, you know having injury to a player is is something that can impact the, the the success of the team. But I think when you have a team that's put together in a way that you know if if one person goes down, the next person is able to step up. So one having versatility, I think also just again, proper preparation, you know, planning for, for things like that and, and, and kind of knowing what, what your next moves could be. So always being, uh, thinking ahead, um, in terms of, you know, just how, how you can configure a team that can withstand some of those things that happen. I, I appreciate that. Um, and also another one for you, Darius, um, Stephanie and Jen, when we spoke to both of them before Thanksgiving, uh, spoke about this idea that you all don't have to execute, you know, a rebuild. It's more about just adding some pieces. I I'm just curious, who do you consider to be the core group of this team? Well, I, I mean, I think right now the, the players that are under contract are our core group. They've been together for a long time. They've, they've won a lot of games together. So there's there's good continuity there. Obviously, you know, with our salary cap, you know, there are some things that we may have to maneuver and we'll meet together as a staff to kind of dis discuss what some of those things may be. Um, and then also, um, I just think that you know, when you look at our roster, some of the things that we need, we need to improve three point shooting. Uh, we need to just have more balance. Um, and so the way that Stephanie wants to play, I think one of the biggest priorities will, will be adding, adding some perimeter shooting. Thank you, I appreciate that. And Morgan, for you, um, you know, you, you noted that uh, your you're obviously a, a former player um, and you've seen how basketball operations departments in this league have grown and developed over the years. So I'm curious if you can describe for me sort of what you've seen when it comes to that transformation since you were a player and now here you are. Um, and also what it means to you to be a part of this younger group of basketball executives that are moving through this, this new pipeline. Um, yeah, I would say, honestly, as a player, you really don't think much about the front office um, and the basketball operations and what the makeup is. Um, so for me, I think it's just we here at the Sun, obviously, I played four years here, one with Seattle, um, especially here, we had a really great support system and we had um, operations staff that 
made it really easy for us to just show up and play the games, you know? And so now being on the, the business side, I see that there's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of planning and preparation. Um, and I definitely have a greater appreciation for it than I did as a player, just because I'd never thought about it when I was playing. Um, and this, it means a lot, you know, I think I love basketball. It's always been a passion. And so to be able to be on the other side first, to be able to learn and see what all goes into it and how it all works. Um, but to be able to now try to make a little bit of an impact and make a difference for the players that are playing now and the ones to come. So it means a lot. And I'm really honored to be able to have this position. Wonderful. And one more for you. And then I will pass the mic on to some others here. I'm just curious about how your your new role as assistant GM, you know, what are the ways that you're going to make sure that you can be giving to both of your roles, you know, um, just as much? I mean, it, it it's probably hard to to juggle. Yeah, I think the, the best thing about it is that I have really good support system. You know, I think from both sides, from the business side and the basketball side, I'm surrounded by people that are really, really good at their jobs and that are smart and that know what they're doing. So that helps a lot with me being able to kind of be on both and, you know, deal with both sides. And now the one good side on the community side, I've done it, right? We, I've been in it for a little over a year and a half. Um, so myself and Annette, who works with me in community relations, we kind of have a good system going. Um, so now it's, you know, Annette gets a little bit more responsibility. We kind of uh, fine tune and put a lot more planning into what we're doing. So I think that preparation and the planning that we've had so far this off season will help quite a bit going forward. Wonderful. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Christine, go ahead. Christine, I don't know if we can hear you. Are you connected to the audio? <laughs> no, oh, we can't hear you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you. <laughs> we'll go to Mark and then come back. Awesome. Uh, I have questions for both Darius and Morgan, so I'll start with you, Darius. First of all, congrats on the hiring. Um, I was in Atlanta towards the end of the season, uh, to do a profile on just the rebuild that went on there and, and talk to Dan for a while, uh, Dan Padover, and he mentioned um, how impressed he was with you. Uh, obviously, you were a holdover from the past staff. Um, and as as Jen mentioned off top, like your role really changed the last couple of years and you've kind of been all over the map and doing things. And I was wondering, you know, kind of taking that last two to three years of experience, what do you think you, you learn most and um, you're most excited to bring to Connecticut this year? Yeah, you know, um, my last couple of years, uh, you know, I've been up and down, you know, obviously, you know, I started out as an assistant coach and we had much success uh, my first year. And then, you know, we had some years that we were down, some of that due to injury, some of that due to other reasons. And so I think I take all those experience, one from, you know, being in a position where we we were, you know, pretty good and we're in the semifinals um, and being a coach and then transitioning to the front office as assistant GM, where I really got to learn and experience, um, you know, just trying to understand from both sides, the business side, from the basketball operations side. And it really helped me kind of understand and be able to communicate in a way to help kind of bridge the gap on both sides and, and help, you know, help both sides see the other point of view. Um, and then I think also just, you know, the experience itself as, as a coach, you know, learning the players in the league, learning the coaches in the league, learning um, and developing relationships with the, the general managers and, and dealing with agents. So I think all of those experiences have uh, kind of helped me prepare for where I am today and for this opportunity. Awesome. Thank you. And then uh, Morgan, to you as well. First of all, congrats again. Um, second of all, as you mentioned, like you, you, it feels like I was just watching you play in the finals a couple of years ago. Um, you know, when you're looking at how your perspective and, and mindset has changed on basketball, just since you started working for the Sun, I mean, obviously in an elevated position now, but what do you think, you know, maybe some things that have changed up the most in your perspective? Like you mentioned that the business side was something you'd never really thought about before until now, but I mean, how has that kind of impacted how you see the game? Um, it's made a big difference. You know, I think kind of what I mentioned of just all the, the planning and preparation that goes into every 
piece of a game, of an off season, during season, the travel, everything, right? It's someone that's doing it. Um, and I think sometimes on the player side, you might take a little for granted because it's done for you. You know, like your schedule is sent to you, where you have to be, you get reminders, right? It's just, it's kind of, you have to work, right? It's still a job, but your your hand is held a little bit. And so going what I call like the real world and like the real job, you know, it's just a little bit of a wake up call, I think, coming from playing where, you know, it was simple as having to work all day, right? Like coming in and then staying through a game that's different than when you're a player. So there are a lot of little adjustments that I just kind of had to get used to. But I think perspective wise, it just gives you that bigger, your that bigger appreciation for what people are doing and realizing whether it's from, you know, the ticket sales staff all the way up to Jen as president, like you realize that there's people that are really dedicating a lot of time and effort um, into making sure that our organization is successful. Um, and so for me, it's just now that I know both sides and understand how people view it on both sides, just to, you know, help explain that to the players, help make sure that they have an understanding of why we're asking them to do things or when we're when we're saying we have to be somewhere like there's a reason behind it um so i think that's been really helpful and it's been really nice to be able to have perspective on both sides awesome thank you both thank you christine you want to try again see if it works <laughs> no still can't hear you if you email us your questions we will ask them <laughs> jacqueline go ahead Hey, Darius and Morgan, thank you guys for your time and congratulations on your new positions. Um, I have a few questions just for the both of you. Um, to start, Darius, you know, it's, you talked a little bit about your time under Dan last year in Atlanta. Uh, you know, was there a particular moment from your time working with him as assistant GM that you think really prepared you most for this new role? Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, you know, I think just from, from day one, his communication style, and, and also um, the preparation that goes into being a general manager. You know, everyone thinks it's all about um, just roster development, but there, there's way more that goes into it. You know, you're really in charge of the basketball operations side and in charge of staff and just making sure that you have clear communication with everyone, everyone's on the same page, that you set expectations. And the, and the biggest thing is just, you know, culture. You know, culture starts from the top down and so, creating a culture that everybody uh, is in sync with and they, and that they live it, you know? So those are some of the biggest things that I picked up just from, uh, you know, being around him in, in Atlanta and it, it helped prepare me for this position, just understanding all that goes into being a general manager. And just coming from the assistant general manager role to now this GM role, what are you wanting to teach Morgan in this first year? And how do you kind of um, plan on, on delegating the tasks between both of you? Well, you know, we're still, you know, just in the beginning of, of getting to work together and know each other. Uh, you know, obviously I, I want to teach her everything I know about, about the league, about building relationships. Uh, about evaluating talent. Obviously, she's been a player, so she's she's very familiar with the kind of talent and uh, that it that's needed to play in this league and and maintain in this league. And so, you know, really, I'm going to lean on her for her strengths and 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 really um, count on her to really have a you know have a pulse on the team as well, just from a, a player perspective. And and we kind of build from there. So as I see her her experiences and her strengths. Uh, we'll can get, continue to give her more responsibility and tasks. Great. Um, and then in the team press release announcing your hiring, I think it was Jen who mentioned that your your versatile experience in women's basketball and all these different roles, um, you know, really kind of contribute to the short and long term vision for Connecticut. Kind of just you know, obviously winning a championship is everyone's long term goal, but kind of what were your conversations around um, the the short term vision and the long term vision? Well, I, you know, our, our conversations, you know, again, it, it starts, you know, at the top of the organization. So making sure that we were all on the same page and as where this organization uh, needs to to get better and enhance in, in certain areas. This is certainly, again, not a rebuild. It's more like a, you know, reset, you know. And so we have things in place and, and now it's, it's time to really kind of focus on, you know, what what those pieces are that are going to get us over the hump and and 
to win a title. I mean, that that's the short-term goal and the long-term goal. You know, we want to win a title and we want to be in a position uh, to continue to contend for titles. So that's, you know, building out a roster that not only answers the now, but also is, is set up to be successful in the future. Thank you. And just one more for you, Darius, um, kind of, you know, from now until free agency begins next month in January, kind of just like, what does your work look like? And what are the goals um, you kind of have to establish before the off season officially begins? Uh, well, the first goal is to really, you know, build a relationship with our, with our current players. You know, a lot of times in organizations, uh, when you, you take on a new role or you're, you're just coming in, you know, immediately everybody wants to think about what other pieces we need to add, but we first got to focus on our own team and, and, you know, what's the right fit culture wise and, and what are the players uh, wants and needs in terms of enhancing the player experience and making them feel, uh, continue to feel like the Connecticut Sun organization is, is a great, great place to be. So we'll focus on our players first, obviously um, is just continue to build relationships uh, with 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 agents and and other uh, GMs across the league, and really just, just focusing on areas that we can improve in. You know, it'll, it'll take some time to kind of sift through some of the uh, exit interviews from last season, and just seeing where you know little minute details and things that we can improve on right away uh, to just again help us get over the hump. And so that's the biggest focus right now um, is is really just establishing a culture and processes. Thank you. Um, and the Morgan, just one quick one for you, just kind of um, what has the last two seasons in your director of franchise development role been like for you? And, you know, was there a time during those two years where it really clicked that you were really interested in um, the business development side and wanting to kind of learn more and take on more responsibility there? Yeah, so the past two seasons have been good. You know, my job in franchise development isn't really tied too much around the season and games. It's more of a 12 month uh, a year thing. Uh, we did some like check presentations, things like that. But usually it's not too tied around um, actually being in season. Um, but actually, I really first started thinking about the basketball side when I was uh, I was young. I didn't really know what it involved. But when Pat Riley was GM in Miami, I thought that was the coolest job didn't know what it entailed or what it was. I just thought it was cool. And so that's kind of the first time I thought about the business side. And then when I was at UConn, I, I studied business as well. So I think I've always thought it was something interesting. Um, didn't know what all it entailed and all the work that goes into it, but um, it's just been good. When I realized these two seasons that, you know, I'll, I always want to be close and tied to basketball as much as possible. So I think this was um, a, a really good step for me to be able to be a little bit more close on the basketball side and, and be able to kind of leave my mark on that side. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Okay, so we have um, Christine's questions. First of all, she wishes you both um, congratulations on your new roles. Uh, she has uh, two questions for Morgan, but she Morgan kind of touched on this um, with Jackie's last question. But her second question was, um, what were the conversations like between um, you and Jen for the assistant GM role and how did that kind of come about, Morgan? Um, it came about um, sometime during the season. Um, and I think it was just from, you know, Mohegan was having kind of these um, succession planning conversations and things. And it was kind of asked of um, from our former VP, Amy Shear, that was here of like, what would I want to do next? Um, and I just honestly didn't really know what my next step would be just on the business side. And so, you know, I just kind of mentioned it wanted to be on the basketball side. And then so from there, I think Jen was kind of planning on bringing an assistant GM at some point. And so I think the timing just kind of worked out. Um, and so it was, um, I wouldn't say random at all, but I think the timing was nice and it was really appreciate the opportunity just to be able to, you know, get a chance to learn and spread my wings a little bit. All right, awesome. Are there any more questions or? I think we might be all set. Thank you so much, Darius, Morgan, and Jen for taking the time. And thanks to everyone who came out um, to cover this. We really appreciate it. Thank you, day, everyone. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.